So the feature suppression tool, uh, simply as the name implies, it's going to suppress a feature. In other words, it's going to tell the feature or tell the measure, ignore that feature. It's not making any permanent change to the, the geometry. And we can really easily get features from suppressed to unsuppressed and back um, uh, with a simple toggle. Um, the other thing is, as we'll see here, and I'm going to pop into FEMAP, go back into this um, solid model, and we'll take a look at our feature suppression. Uh, most often, we're going to be suppressing things like holes. Suppressing curves and surfaces are reserved for suppressing curves and surfaces much smaller um, in relation to the rest of the geometry. Um, that would, you know, would you would want to be ignored in the mesh. So very short curves, very small surfaces. In this case, we're going to just take a look at suppressing some holes. And what it's going to do is uh, we're going to use loops, and we're going to set this option to toggle suppression for a minute. Uh, we could limit our size if we wanted to suppress, you know, 20 features in a uh, solid and didn't want to pick them all at once, we could limit our size so that it, all, it only uh, would suppress features smaller than that number. So we're not going to use that today. Um, so let's take a look at what it does. So I'm going to select that hole, and you notice it just simply paves over the hole in the mesh. And if I turn my mesh off for a minute, just using the Entity Display toolbar, you'll see that it changed colors uh, to indicate that that is a suppressed feature. So you can visually identify suppressed features as you go along. So I've got this set to toggle suppression. So what that means is the first time I hit that feature, it suppresses, and the second time I tag it uh, or select it, it unsuppresses. So it, it toggles from suppressed to unsuppressed very easily. We can, if you have a lot of features suppressed in your model and you have a large model, you can go and say, I want to see all suppressed features in that solid. And you can get a quick visual uh, idea of where features are that you have suppressed as you went along. And then we can just click the red X to get rid of that preview. The other thing we can do is we can set our toggle suppression to either suppress or restore. And, you know, we're only restoring features. We're not suppressing them. When we hit them, and if they're not suppressed, they do nothing. Um, most often this is, well, by default, it's toggle suppression. But most often we'll, we'll leave that to toggle suppression. And we can select them. And there's another option down here. It says restore all. So if you have a lot of features suppressed and you want to restore those in a particular solid, we can grab our solid and it'll just unsuppress them. Uh, same thing in our model. So hit the in our model. It asks us to confirm that we want to restore all of our suppressed features. And let's just say yes and, and go ahead and restore those. So the feature suppression, very useful tool. Uh, no permanent to the geometry. So if you ignore that feature, write this geometry out uh, to a parasolid to import into somewhere else you're going to get exactly the same piece of geometry you started with, uh, although you have suppressed features.